I am Dr. Santosh Kuryakos, gynec oncologist. I am sitting in one of India's largest mother and child hospital, Government Medical College, Kori Kod, in the state of Kerala. Every day in my OPD, I see about two cases or sometimes even more cases of cervical cancers. And most of them are advanced. Literacy rate in Kerala is 95%. And we have very good health indices as well as social indices. But in spite of all these things, we are seeing so much burden of cervical cancers. For the last two decades, we have been having pap smear in our state. But women tend to dislike examination by a gynecologist for the purpose of screening. HPV testing is a highly sensitive method of screening for cervical cancer. We wanted to know what proportion of HPV positivity can be detected by self-testing compared to physician testing and what is the attitude of the study population towards self-testing. The present study was a hospital-based cross-sectional study. We enrolled 114 cervical cancer patients who came to our gynec oncology OPD. We wanted to compare self-testing for HPV detection with physician collected cervical sampling. Out of this 114 patients, 89 patients were found to be positive for HPV virus by the physician collection method. Of this 89 patients, 88 could be detected by self-testing. So the self-testing was found to have very high sensitivity for detection of HPV of 95.5% and a specificity of 88% when compared to physician collected cervical sampling which was considered as the gold standard. There was 100% compliance as far as patients were concerned. They were happy and willing to undergo self-testing. And there was an almost perfect agreement between these two modalities of testing because of the high kappa value. Of, of these 114 patients, 96 patients came in an advanced stage of cancer, stage 2b or more. Of these 114 patients, only 4 patients have ever undergone a pap smear in their lifetime. So, so this proves that opportunistic pap smear did not have any meaningful impact in the society. Self-testing for HPV can be considered as a physician-independent, patient-centered screening program that can effectively break barriers to screening. In India, there are socio-cultural barriers to screening. Women dislike coming to exposing themselves coming for an examination purpose. So just because a screening method is scientifically sound does not mean that it will be accepted by the very population that will be benefited. An excellent example is the low acceptance of pap smear screening by the women of Kerala. Studies have shown high response rate among Indian women towards self-sampling. The study was conducted in a hospital setting. We need to translate the study to a community level and see how this will effectively increase the screening especially among socially socially and economically deprived women and one word of thanks to figo and the ijgo figo is an organization and ijgo gives great emphasis on healthcare aspects of women all over the globe especially from the south southeast asia these problems we have highlighted in our research are likely to be present among uh, countries like Bangladesh, Pakistan and also among those people of those ethnicities who have migrated to western countries as well. So this study has got a global significance. Researchers from low middle income countries face several hurdles in publishing the research book in high quality journals. Unlike many index journals, IJGO does not charge article processing fees or and encourages researchers and de from developing countries. On behalf of all the co-authors, I express our sincere gratitude to Figo 
International Journal of Gynecology and Obstetrics and Emeritus Professor John J. Skyara for supporting, encouraging and recognizing our work. Thank you very much. Namaskar.